Hello! So, tonight it's April Fool's Day, so I thought there are lots of interesting April Fool's types of creatures on the beach. Um, so I thought we would do a hermit crab, because a hermit crab, you're like, look at this thing, and then suddenly all of its legs pop out, and you're like, that is not what I thought this was. Most hermit crabs live in the snail shells, so you're like, wow, a snail, and then you're like, oh snap, a crab. Um, but I found this interesting hermit crab. This is Stephen's hermit crab. We are again in Welks to Wales. Stephen's hermit crab. Pagarus stevense, named so in 1971 after Bell Alice Stevens, biology student of Kincaid at the University of Washington, right here in town. The size, the carapace, can, that's the like shelly part kind of thing, uh, can be up to five eighths of an inch long. So very, very tiny. They range from the Aleutian Islands in Alaska down here to Puget Sound. So we're at the southernmost end of their range. They live in mud, sand, or a gravel bottom, often in sponge-covered shell. We'll get to that. Um, and that can be at a depth of 16 feet to 650 feet, or 5 meters to 195 meters down. They are fairly uniform, red-brown in color. The right claw is usually long and slender with a granular surface. Comments. Often found in the hermit crab sponge and similar in color. So let's take a look at Stephen's hermit crab. That is a little crab friend, and you might be thinking, that's definitely not a snail shell it's living in. You're right, it's a sponge. That is the hermit crab sponge. And so I thought we could take a quick dip over to check out the hermit crab sponge. So the hermit crab sponge Suberites latus, named in 1893, uh, has other names, but we'll skip those. The lumps can be up to three inches high and wide, so much bigger than our little crab friend. These range from the Gulf of Alaska all the way down to San Diego, California. And they settle on, so this is a sponge, which we know are living things. Um, they settle on and dissolve the shells inhabited by hermit crabs. They can also lump on rocks. They're in the low intertidal down to 120 feet. Description is firm and dense, gray or brown to dark orange, and comments associated with a variety of hermit crabs which grow within sponge and do not have to fight for larger shells as they grow. Sponge is mobile and less vulnerable than other sponges to nudibranch predators. So hermit crab gets to keep one little home forever, uh, and the sponge gets trucked around and so it can outrun the nudibranchs that want to eat it. That's fun! So I thought this was a good one for April Fool's Day because not only are hermit crabs kind of the perfect April Fool thing because you're like, oh that's one thing, no, oh snap, that's actually a hermit crab, but you're like, oh hermit crabs, I understand those, and now you're like, oh snap, I didn't know that there are some hermit crabs that don't live inside of shells, they live inside of sponges. Happy April Fool's Day!